Hello, welcome to the Excellent Youth Outreach Channel. Well, I'm uh, Prophet Jim. I've been a pastor now for 50 years, and I've been a prophet for 30. Now you may be listening to this and saying, Prophet, that's very hard. Yes, it is very hard. The time for nice, comfortable messages is over. The enemy is inside the gate. The enemy is rampant in our land. Not the COVID-19, not the economic tsunami, but the destruction of a church which is unrepentant and unaware of what it has done and where it is and the agony it has brought to Father in heaven. There has to be a move of the spirit of repentance. If there isn't, Ghana is lost. And, and the next announcement will be, today a new child has died in Africa. Now, I'm sorry to be so, so forthright. Prophets are very forthright, I'm afraid. We don't know compromise. For us, it's black and white. The decision is clear. We have failed. And the only way forward is to repent. And repentance is very simple. We saw it in Mitzvah. First, the people's heart was stirred, knowing things were wrong. They had to put something right. They didn't know what, they didn't know where, but they had to act. The spirit of repentance needs to be released into Ghana. People need to know all over Ghana to, uh, to, to, to have a feeling that something is wrong. That something has gone wrong and that it has to be put right. There has to be this desire, this realization. It comes down to these words. We have sinned against the Lord. And then there has to be a turning back to the Lord. And there has to be a confession and repentance. If you find that hard to get into your minds, let's go together to Luke 15 and the story of the lost son. Father had two sons. And the younger one said, give me my share of the inheritance. Give me my money. I want me, me, me. I want to go off and I want to be part of the world and I want to have the world, have everything. I want to be successful. And the father said, you choose. We chose as a nation. Father didn't want this for us, but we chose it. And so the son went off. And for a while it was great. It was great here for a while. Lots of people got rich and prosperous. Lots of big churches grew. Lots of pastors got lots of money and cars and clothes. And they became successful and famous. And they were on television. And it was really wonderful. It went really well for a while. Prosperity will always go well for a while as it sucks you in. But then the sun found that a famine came to that land. And suddenly his wealth all disappeared. And that's what's going to happen to us. A famine has come to our land. For us, it's come in the COVID-19 virus, but much worse, the economic disaster which will follow it. Those who have become rich are going to find themselves poor. And anyway, so, you follow the prosperity gospel. So, you become successful and prosperous. So what are you going to do? Are you going to say to the COVID-19 virus, you needn't come to me because I'm successful and prosperous. I've got all this money. All the money in the world isn't going to buy you protection from this virus. And there isn't an antidote. All your prosperity, all your money, all your big posters on the Accra Road, all are going to rot. Because this virus takes no notice of these things. So you're a big famous man. The virus takes no notice. So you're a poor trader. The virus takes no notice. A famine came to that land. And the son found himself in the most terrible situation. We, are in, as a nation, are in the most terrible situation. One day, the Bible says, he came to his senses. He came to his senses. That's the release of the spirit of repentance. They came to their, he came to his senses and he said this. Even the lowest servant in my master's house is doing better than me. I serve the Lord as a servant. I have nothing, I want nothing. I follow the cross, I obey the principles of the cross. I will finally come to Calvary and pass into glory forever. That's all I have and all I want. No virus is going to take that from me. Many in Ghana must come to their senses. Many of our leadership, our big leadership, must come to their senses. There is no protection from the spirit of repentance when it starts to break into our heart. 
right? There's no protection from the virus. There's no protection. We intercessors, we are at this the point we're at intercessors. We must pray that the spirit of repentance this night will wake some of these big leaders in Ghana and they will wake in tears and agony, realizing what they have done. It has to come from God. But we are the ones who can plead with God to release it.